Ion Zero FXB. Do the FTM 300 firmware. Go to the Yesu page first. Then click Files. Scroll down and select um, the for Europe. It's this one here. EXP firmware. Click that and send it to a file that you've saved on your computer. Also click this one, the update firmware information. I've extracted all these files to a folder on your desktop. This is what it will look like. See what firmware you have. Hold down the F. Select display. Then number five is software version. Select that with the big button. There is your software version. The USB cable that comes with the radio. It's not an SCU20. Make sure you read every pamphlet careful and follow the instructions to download the USB driver. Double click the FTM300 main version EXP. We have the install the USB driver thing. We've done that. Now we're at this window. Switch your device you want to update to program writing mode. After switching mode, connect the device to your computer using a USB cable. Press next. Right, we're going to press next. And then we've already done the USB driver install. Let's see if we can find the COM port. It's on. Turn it off. But we still have power going to the unit from the from my PS from my power supply. Now number four, use this USB cable to connect the FTM uh, 300D data jack to the computer, which we've done. Then it says connect the DC power cable. So I'll just do that. Okay, we've flicked the switch to the right. Okay, we'll just plug in the USB cable in here. Nothing's happening on the PC. It says connect the power cable. So I'll just turn that on. I think I hear, I hear a noise. Let's have a look in the device manager. Over here, we'll just type in device up here device manager computers connected to the radio and you've got the right USB driver you will see this in device manager Rennes has USB development tools okay we've done the USB driver we're now going to click update Now it's telling us to disconnect the power cable from the main body. So we'll do that. Switch the program switch to CPU update. Uh, switch the program switch to CPU update. Side right. Uh, connect the FT300 to your PC. Connect the power cable to the main body to supply power. Uh, so, so we've switched to the right, connected the cable, and then we're going to connect the power cable to the main body to supply power. After that, press OK. So let's turn the power back on. Click OK. Um, then we're going to click OK again. See what happens. So you can see this is happening. Firmware update complete. Disconnect the power cable from the main body. So we'll turn that off. Disconnect the USB cable. We're doing that. We can get to it. Yeah. Bit dark, but we have disconnected it. Um, connect the power 
Switch the program switch to normal operation mode. Power switch, switch the um, program to normal, which is on the left. Just done that. I'm just going to turn it back on. So we'll put the power back on. Turn it on. And then we're going to do an, a all reset and see what firmware version we've got. Okay, we're going to do an all reset. So we'll go hold the F, turn to reset, like so. In red, select reset, factory reset, OK. Doing the factory reset. Completed. Reboot. It's probably going to need my call sign again, isn't it? Right, we got my call sign back in there. Now we want to see what firmware version it is. So we go F. I think it's display. Software version. There you go. 7.10. We are updated. ESP firmware update. Follow these instructions. Double click this file. And then you'll get this and then double click the PC tool. And then you get this window. When the power is on, turn it off. Now press and hold the DX key and the F setup key and then turn the unit on. You can see push D key. Now press the DX key. And now it says DSP com. Now add the USB cable to the main unit. The USB cable is in the PC and in the radio. Device Manager USB COM4 appeared. This is the COM4 that it showed. And it showed this for the DSP and on the radio it said right end. I'm just going to do another check to see if the DSP is updated so hold down the F. Hit display. Software. And the DSP is now 7.11 and the main version is 1.1 which is the all the latest.